In our latest update for all pro plans, that is for WordPress and cloud, we have introduced AI integration for the text element. And in this quick overview, I'm going to show you what that is about. And then you can check out for future videos where we will be exploring a little bit more about this kind of integration. Hi, welcome to Brizzy. My name is JP. Remember to subscribe, give us a like for this video and visit us at brizzy.io. In a recent webinar between Demi and I, we talked about AI, where we are heading towards, and you can check that out if you want to learn more about the future for AI and, of course, how it will integrate with Brizzy. What we have here is a shop page, and I have a heading here at the top. And when you click on it, you're going to see these little sparkle sparkles that is going to give you the AI text for all text elements, except places like buttons. Now, this is only a pro feature. So if you have Brizzy free and only have that, whether it's cloud or WordPress, you're not going to see this. Once you click on it, you're greeted with this box with a few commands here at the top or prompts, and then a place here where you can give those prompts, those instructions. Let's select the next one where you have a longer sentence, discover a new perspective with our stylish sunglasses, perfect for any occasion, select AI, and here I will select shorten. And what the AI will do is it will shorten what you've got there. You can also select simplify, which is a little bit like shorten, but it's more in terms of the content and syntax that's happening here. You can also change the tone. Let's say we're going to put this into a friendly tone. There's a few commands like here, like, hey there, you know, that's very pretty casual. And there's a casual one is here. Let's choose that. Maybe no difference between, hey, what's up, right? And then let's go back to professional. And what you notice here is that I'm not adding any text here in this text field area, this prompting box. It's working directly with the text in the element. The last one up here is forced languages. There are a few here. Once you select one of them, like FR will be for French, then it's going to change this into French. Let's move to another one down here. And here I have this little bit of tagline below and I want to extend that, I simply click on extend. And in this case, you really have to understand that it's going to give you a lot of extension. Quite a lot there. And this is good if you want to create longer copy text. So remember, the extend is pretty much a huge extension. But what about generating new text? Let's bring in a new text element, drop it here, select it, go to AI and tell AI what to write. Here it depends a little bit on your style, and this is something that you have to experiment with and also check online what is meant by giving an AI prompts and how to do that properly. I want to write a heading. I want to write it in Afrikaans in a different language. So I will say, write in Afrikaans a heading, and I'm writing this all actually in English to promote my sunglasses. Now the thing here, of course, is, and I'll just enter on my keyboard, Look at that. Beskarm your ur mit stellvolle sonbrille. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm always so surprised. I can go ahead and change the topography and we put this on heading two. And then change the color out a little bit. Great. That was very easy. So even if your language isn't supported or shown currently here in the selector on the far right, you still can force by just instructing the AI to type in the language you want. This, of course, is going to work with English. So if I want to switch this back to English, I just simply click there on English. Oh, wow, so quick. So go and test it out. Brizzy Cloud, Brizzy WordPress, the pro versions, AI integration for text. From me, JP, until next time, remember to give us a like for this video, subscribe to YouTube, and I'll see you around.